Thanksgiving, everyone. Yeah. Thank you for waiting until I have my makeup all done. I'm on bird detail. Oh, I'm on wine detail. Looking good. Speaking of looking good. I do try. <laughs> all right. You're one lucky fella. That's what people keep telling me. I was going to do an intro for the videos. It's Thanksgiving weekend. I don't have anything elaborate, but I got a bunch of little short videos. I think I'll just throw them together. Maybe toss one up each day and you guys can sort through them. And if there's something you like, good deal. If not, I don't know. See you next week. See ya. See you soon. Howdy folks. Welcome back. Our specimen for today is a 2006 Chevy Tahoe. It's here because the blower motor doesn't work and it's getting pretty cold outside. Well, I wonder how long it's going to ding at us. Anyway. Yeah, automatic climate control. And... No worky. To be honest, I'm not overly familiar with the GM automatic climate control system. Here's a wiring diagram. It's like there's a big 40 amp fuse here for the blower motor. There's a blower motor right there. So there's some kind of a blower motor control processor. I don't know what that is. And then this right here must be that HVAC control module. So those are push buttons. That must be what's right there on the dash panel. And that gets powered by a 10 amp fuse and another 10 amp fuse so HVAC 1, HVAC 2 anyway looking through the list here looks like number 73 is the big honker for the blower motor that's this guy right here it's a 40 amp J case fuse which these are always fun but it looks okay to me so HVAC with battery is number 38, so that'd be under the starter relay, be that 10 amp fuse right there. Let me grab a test light. All right, the key is on. So we've got power there, power there. So that fuse is good. What is the other one? Auxiliary HVAC ignition, position 49. Where is 49? Sounds like Mama's home. Howdy. I had to exchange it for this lovely Tahoe. All right, if you guys can see a 49 there, let me know. I do not see it. What am I missing here? Oh, there it is. 49. Right where you'd expect it, between 73 and 43. So that'd be... Are you doing an inception? So, that one's good too. Now the fun starts. Face off. Face off. I saw a t-shirt the other day and it was a picture of Nicolas Cage and above it it says John Travolta, <laughs> which is a face off joke. Thus the laugh. Thus the laugh. Hi pup. All right, we got work to do. Okay. Back to our regularly scheduled program. There is another fuse here, number 55, HVAC ignition. Lives. You guys can't see it right there. Let's see if that one's good. It's good. Okay, this is where the plot thickens. All right, down here in the passenger footwell. Looks like the HVAC unit right there. So we'll have to get this kick panel out of the way. It's just got some screws that go 
I don't know, vertically there's one there. Probably a couple more scattered throughout. screw up there. I don't know how that panel comes off there. I don't want to break it. Surely GM couldn't have made this so that the whole center console has to come out in order to take that stupid kick panel down. Doesn't matter. I think we can see what we need to see if we could get the light to stay where it needs to be. Come on. All right, so this must be the, what do they call it? Blower motor control processor right there. And there's the blower motor. Big fat leads right there. So I guess we could probably just unplug that honker and clip something in there. See if it works. All right. Got it back probed finally. Or not back probed, front probed. Using some of these adapters from the AES Wave U test kit. Fantastic little little kit. Let's see what happens here. That's maximum. There's minimum. Okay. That's it. Needs a blower motor. Very interesting. All right. Gotta get that sucker out of there. I don't think there's any screws in it. I'm pretty sure. Just pull down this tab and turn it. Yep, there we go. Well, this is what they gave me for a new blower motor. It does come with the fan. I always like to buy them with the fan if I can because usually you'll destroy them trying to get them apart. Anyway, I've had good luck with these CarQuest blower motors. They're made in Canada. They seem to hold up pretty well. But it does have a different business end here. But I think this pigtail is removable. So that. Well, the pins look good. So let's, uh, let's see what she does. Maybe we can clip that in there like so. Flip the key on and see if we can launch this thing across the shop. go. Alright, let's not push our luck. There. Right there. Cool. That's pretty pretty easy. Gotta give it to GM on that one. Well, if we can get in this thing back up in here.
guy. Let's see the first time. Jeez. <laughs> Guess it's been a long day. All right, let's give her the real shakedown. Full throttle. Yeah, buddy. That's it, we're done. Well, not quite sure what to make of this. It does run, which I suspected that it would. I figured it just landed on a dead spot and we were gonna find a you know a problem with the commutator. It actually pulls too many amps to run it at full charge with my little benchtop power supply. It pulls over 10 amps. But anyway, hooked up an amp clamp to the scope and I don't see any problems there. You know if it had a a problem in the armature, you know, one of the windings is bad or something, we'd see a, a jagged edge. And we just don't see that. Now there is, let's see, 13.4 millivolts. So that's like 1.3 amps difference. You know, between, it falls off by 1.3 amps on each bar of the commutator, but I don't think that's unusual. I'm not sure. Maybe the brushes are worn or something. It definitely was not working. I don't know. Interesting. Pretty sure I avoided the warranty, but we're in. I just don't know. Commutator looks pretty good. I don't see anything suspicious with the windings. Magnets are still bonded in place. Even the shaft isn't really worn that bad. I don't know. The commutator is worn for sure. And the brushes were worn down a bit, but I cannot see why it wouldn't run. I don't know. I've seen brushes that were a lot worse than that. Well, I guess if anybody has a theory about why this thing didn't want to run, put it down in the comment box. I really don't don't see anything obvious. Yeah, I don't know, maybe that commutator is just worn too, too far. Alright guys, that is it. Now we just hope that the new made in Canada blower motor lasts longer than the old made in Mexico blower motor. Not much to it. There won't be a whole lot of meat on the bone in this video, but Maybe I'll throw it up for you guys just as proof that not every job is a knockdown, drag out fight. Sometimes it's easy. And I'm curious how you guys would bill for a job like this or what your policy is in your shop. I charge a minimum half hour diagnostic fee and the book time or flat rate time to change out this blower motor is 0.2 hours. So not gonna be a big money maker, that's for sure. You know, it, honestly, it took about 10 minutes to diagnose this problem. So you could easily change the blower motor out well within that half hour diagnostic time, but I don't know. We had some screwing around getting the parts or whatever. So I'm going to charge a half hour diagnostic and the 0.2 hours to change the blower motor out and I'm going to move on. So yeah, type that out in the comment box if you care to, and I will see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching. There it is. <laughs> Crazy. Oh. And she's wallowed out pretty good. 
So last night I was sitting on the couch watching TV, saw a bunch of flashing lights, came down here to see what was going on. There's a Ford Explorer on the side of the road, back in dragging the ground. So he lost a wheel and I couldn't find it. It was pitch black outside. Well, there's a road way over there. So she, she had some momentum. They're pretty much always junk when this happens anyway. Yeah, you see the holes are all egged out. So it's gonna have to have a new rim. Tires shot too, so whatever. It's probably going in the scrap pile, but at least we'll get it out of my neighbor's field. Guess I'll put it out by the road where the car was last night and see if they come back for it. If not, we'll throw it in the scrap pile. 